Thank you for joining me, everyone. This is Rachel Doe, back with an update for my first ThreadUp consignment box. If you don't know, ThreadUp is the largest online consignment and thrift store, according to their website. If you want to know more about it, I will have a video linked down below where you can find out more information. This is going to be an update on the first batch of consignment I sent to them. And so let's dive right in and not waste any time. Perfect. Okay. So here is my kit. Um, this, after I raise prices, is my remaining potential payout, as it says, $386.28. And that will be minus the $26.99 I paid in processing and return assurance. So they have accepted the guest trench coat, $82.15, probably the best payout of this box. They accepted the Zara red jeans, um, the Victoria's Secret pink sports bra that's new with tags, um, these Imagine by Vince Camuto heels, they accepted the Zara cutout sleeves dress, these Sam Edelman flats, the kimchi blue casual skirt, the June and Hudson maxi dress, this free people tank top, um, both pieces of the H&M swimsuit. Now I thought this was interesting. They claim that the top had a stain on it, which I absolutely don't see one and I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't remember seeing one. Also, I, like in general, their photos were very good, but this one is very washed out and it's much more pink in person. But anyway, let's go back. And yes, the Hyperdunk sneakers, the Victoria's Secret pink long sleeve tee, and this Free People tank top. Now this is in someone's cart right now. Can't be made on reserved items, that's what that is. So these are all of my pending sales. First of all, Swim has definitely been selling because Right here, the first thing that sold, I think it was this, but this swimsuit sold, and it's in transit. The Sanctuary Long Sleeve Button Down sold. This Jansen swimsuit also sold. The Torrid Track Jacket has already been delivered, and I will get paid out on September 2nd. This was a garage sale find, so definitely happy with this payout. Patrons of Peace dress, um, already been delivered. The same swimsuit as above, in a different colorway, also has already been delivered. And same with this bikini top here, delivered and waiting for the payout. So these different dates correspond with whenever it's delivered to the buyer. After I think it's two weeks, this return window will pass and that's when I officially get paid out. Can't come soon enough, let me tell you. ThreadUp is the slow dime over the quick nickel, if I've ever seen one. Um, I'm going to pull up some numbers right now. So for this kit, I ordered the label on July 15th of this year. I received it and basically sent it in within 24 hours, which was the 3rd of August. And I don't have it listed when it was um, accepted, but here we are. It's late August and I'm still waiting on my very first payouts until the beginning of September. So this is not for people who need to make a quick buck. This is not the quick nickel. This is the slow dime. And also, I mean, the first payout I'll get is this one. And this, even if I didn't have cost of goods, this $20.89 payout doesn't cover, of course, the um, fees that I need to cover before I can cash out. Pretty sure that's how it works. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, very interesting. So also, if you count, this is 14 items that are still available. If you have thread up, please buy them. I'll love you. Um, seven sales, and then I had five items that were not accepted into this kit, which were the Juicy Couture Flare Jeans, the Altered State Stripe 
crop, long sleeve shirt, the True Religion jeans, the Lucky Brand jeans, and the New York and Company white sleeveless sheer blouse. And I've already sent all those back in, in other kits, and luckily some have been accepted so far. So it's definitely like Plato's Closet or Clothes Mentor or whichever you go to where you want to bring things multiple times because you know you never know the reasons why things are rejected it could just be the person who's unpacking the kit it could be what they have inventory wise I don't know if ThreadUp does it that way but basically fresh eyes on your stuff is always a good thing follow along with me I'll put it on the screen the total cost of goods that were accepted was one hundred two dollars thirty four cents the fees again we know it was twenty six ninety nine the sum of those two numbers is $129.33, so the average price per item, so kind of like average cost of goods plus fees, is $6.16. So again, let's scroll down to see these. And I mean, let's see, I'm down on that one, up, 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 down, down. So we will see, I hope more purchases are made. <laughs> obviously so again this was just a quick update on this kit if you want me to do these for more kits please let me know um, this video is a lot easier to film than one where I have to set up my equipment so <laughs> I like that if you have any questions about ThreadUp I am not an expert but I will be happy to answer them in the comments um, let me know which of the items that is listed and not sold will sell next or just your favorite item in the comments below, of course. I also want to include in my description below this video, I have some journals that my partner and I have designed and we sell on Amazon. If you have his Amazon Prime, you can get these really, really quick. Um, just a shameless plug, you know. They're, I mean, I think they're funny, especially the 2021 journal you're really gonna love that one so check those out below and if you would like to receive money off your first um, thread up order I will also have a link in the description where you can make an account and everything like that thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time